The People's Liberation Army Air Force appears to be massively upgrading its now operational fleet of fifth-generation stealthy J-20 aircraft with additional thrust and maneuver capability, F-22-like supercruise speed. New air-to-air -air weapons and a two-seat variant of the aircraft, the Pentagon's 2023 China report. Called military and security developments involving the People's Republic of China cites concerns about a number of PLA Air Force enhancements now underway for the J-20. The PLA Air Force is preparing upgrades for the J-20, which may include increasing the number of air-to-air -air missiles the fighter can carry in its low observable configuration, installing thrust vectoring engine nozzles, and adding supercruise capability by installing higher thrust indigenous WS-15 engines. In November 2022, high-resolution photos published in several news publications and public sources revealed over 208 J-20 fighters have been built. The Chinese papers write about the J-20's maturation, demonstrations and technologies such as its WS-15 domestically built engine. The Pentagon report also cites the emergence of a Chinese two-seat J-20 configuration, suggesting it might introduce new kinds of missions possibilities. At the beginning of 2021, the Chinese Global Times newspaper quoted unnamed military analysts citing the merits of a two-seat J-20. The twin-seat variation of the J-20 could be used for electronic warfare, command of wingman drones or bombing, and the domestic engine means the J-20 is no longer reliant on Russian engines. A fifth general fighter carrying a two-man crew raises some interesting questions and dynamics. The F-14 Tomcat came to exist well in advance of today's AI-empowered sensing, computing, targeting, networking and information analysis. The addition of a second seat to the 5th General Stealth Fighter presents some interesting questions. As it does potentially add new decision-making variables to air combat such as drone coordination, EW, or intelligence analysis in the air. A stealthy, 5th generation F-14 Tomcat-like two-seater to ensure collaborative human decision-making. Will this add weight, drag and redundancy and compromise mission speed and efficacy? The question is worth exploring. Should connectivity be lost, jammed, disabled or compromised in a combat situation? Command and control could at least temporarily disappear, creating a circumstance wherein having an extra set of human eyes, observational faculties and decision-making capability could certainly bring a tactical advantage. While human eyes might not necessarily see any farther, clearer or better than advanced cameras. Perhaps a second pilot, or aviator, could oversee the operation of nearby drones, analyze and decide upon an interwoven tapestry of threat information, or coordinate communication with nearby air and ground assets should the main pilot be engaged in pressing combat tasks. Certainly the prevailing wisdom regarding manned-unmanned -manned teaming seems to indicate that warfare effectiveness is best served by an optimal blend of high speed. AI-enabled sensors and computers along with faculties and attributes unique to human cognition. Man-machine interface, as it's called, can synergize more subjective variables and attributes associated with human decision-making with high-speed, data analysis and organization. Certainly when it comes to gathering, organizing and performing certain kinds of data analysis. High-speed. AI-empowered computing and information processing performs exponentially better than humans. Yet computers may not yet be able to approximate more subjective phenomena less calculable or measurable by mathematically oriented computer algorithms. Dynamic human decision-making offers attributes far superior to anything machines can interpret in many respects. Combining both, therefore, seems to be the consensus among leading military weapons developers. Therefore, could a two-man crew enable J-20 introduce double the amount of man-machine interface potential possible in the sky? Perhaps the vast volumes of information made available by advanced sensing generates so much data which, even if organized, streamlined and analyzed by computers, may best be utilized by more than one human decision-maker in the air. Using a human pilot alongside an AI-enabled computerized co-pilot offers the best option. Given that so much information can now be gathered, analyzed, streamlined and transmitted in accurate and highly relevant ways without needing human intervention. Maybe so much can be done effectively by computers in terms of matching threats against a database library. Analyzing prior war scenarios to find the best weapon for a particular scenario. 
or assessing navigational, weather and ground target information in relation to one another in milliseconds, that having a human supported by a computerized AI pilot may be the best approach. Computer algorithms enabling near-real-time analytics have informed some experiments and simulations wherein drone fighter jets prevailed in dogfights against human pilots. Or at least performed successfully in many respects. Machines are increasingly performing more vital combat functions faster than humans can, increasing the likelihood that more drone fighter jets will emerge in the future. The J-20 does operate with a bomb truck-like capacity to deliver more ordnance than an F-35 on a single mission. As it can take off with 27,998 pounds of internal and external ordnance, compared with an F-35 in beast mode which can travel with 18,000 pounds of weapons. The J-31 can also travel with a heavy load of weapons, as its maximum takeoff capacity is listed as being at 28,000 kilograms. In terms of pure speed and thrust to weight ratio, there are some interesting observations to be made, as the J-20 is reported to be faster than the F-35, yet not as fast as the F-22 Raptor. The J-20 is listed as being able to operate at a max speed of Mach 2.0 and the J-31 is slated with speeds up to Mach 1.8. Speed for both the J-20 and J-31 are less than the F-22's Mach 2.25 speed, yet faster than the F-35 speed at Mach 1.6. The F-22 also has the most advanced thrust-to-weight ratio in the world, and is therefore able to maneuver, vector and outrun enemy air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles in ways that are likely to be unrivaled. The J-20 is particularly critical for PLA Air Force in terms of projecting fifth-generation air power beyond its borders. The J-20 is a land-launched aircraft. However, should operations take place within several hundred miles of the Chinese coastline, then yes J-20s could figure prominently, yet being restricted to land launch and take off massive limits the aircraft's reach. Yet China is amassing a sizable fleet of the aircraft and does often report on the J-20's attributes. <laughs>